soccer superstar, Cristiano Ronaldo! He was an international sports star known the world over. He was just handed a two-year suspended sentence after pleading to tax fraud in Spain. The fine levied against him is nearly $22 million. Ronaldo is one of the world's richest athletes. In 2018, he was paid $108 million through salary, licensing, and endorsements. He also has a lifetime contract with Nike for $1 billion. During his time with Real Madrid Soccer Club, he did not pay taxes on $16 million in salary and endorsements. He created a tax shelter with the help of financial advisors to hide his earnings. Wonder if the financial advisors acting on behalf of Ronaldo really believe that the scheme would work. And what does this case of fraud say about the corporations that still pay Ronaldo so much money and well about us as fans? Hi, I'm Chuck Gallagher and welcome to Choices and Consequences with an edition of SportsEthics.com. If a business person, publicly traded company, or private entity were to create a phony shell company and try to hide away $16 million in order to avoid paying taxes, it's doubtful that the prosecution would be so lenient. When Ronaldo was put through the ringer of the scandal, major sponsors such as Nike did not so much as ruffle their feathers. The justification was obvious. Ronaldo is worth a lot more as an endorser than painted as a man who paid a huge tax debt to society. Ronaldo sells. Unfortunately, many of us are all too quick to celebrate unethical behavior if they win for us. For more information on this and other sports ethics issues, visit ChuckGallagher.com and SportsEthics.com.